Hey guys, it's Jo. And I know you're probably like, what is that on her lips? Well, if you can't tell, it's a Puerto Rican flag. Yes, guys, your girl is Puerto Rican. And I'm trying to like match the theme of my video. And what my video is gonna be this week is the Latina tag. Yes, guys, the Latina tag. I've been wanting to do this tag forever. I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois, and usually the Puerto Rican parade is like June 5th or something like that. And Florida is different, New York is different days. So ever since we moved here, been off schedule, off, you know, keeping track of what it is, and I always miss it. You know, growing up in Illinois, it was always cool because we used to go all out. I was born and raised in the city, and we used to go crazy. I don't know if they still let us do this. We used to be able to lower the windows down, I go like this, because back then you used to go like this, not push the button, you would roll the window down, and we would sit outside of the window our body will be outside so like this half will be outside and my butt will be sitting on the window thing and my legs will be inside the car and we have a big puerto rican flag and we would just be chanting you know boricua boricua or yo soy boricua pa que tu lo sepa you know stuff like that proud to be puerto rican i was born and raised in chicago illinois the puerto rican part of chicago illinois humboldt park for those of you guys that are from illinois chicago y'all know what i'm saying drop down in the comment let me know if you're from the humboldt park area what's up now i'm gonna be doing the latina tag i have my tablet here and i'm just gonna be reading the questions off of that and then at the end i'm gonna tag five of you girls to do it as well when you do the tag just you know holler out your girl let let them know that it's joe tag you on the tag so anyways let's get started with this tag guys the first question is what is your nationality <laughs> i already said that you know i am puerto rican i am from the island of humacao puerto rico all my life I'm gonna be saying this a lot because I am from Illinois. So back in Illinois, people never knew what I was. People would always ask me, are you um, Indian? Are you Hawaiian? Because in, in Illinois, I would always have my hair straight. Here in Florida, it is way too freaking hot and humid to wear this hair straight. I don't know how people do it, but my hair is natural now and I wear it curly. I, I blow dry the bangs, but I haven't even done that in like, it's been a hot minute since I've done that. Just, I'm not going outside today, so that's why I did it. Do you speak Spanish? Claro que si yo hablo español, pues yo soy boricua, ¿qué tú te crees? Yes, I do speak Spanish, and what I said was, of course I speak Spanish, I'm Puerto Rican, what do you think? What is your favorite Puerto Rican dish? Guys, this is hard, because Puerto Rican food is the bomb diggity, okay? Oh shoot, did I just mess up? I did, I put some blue down here, ah! Let me fix this up real quick. Okay, Puerto Rican food, is so good tan bueno tan delicioso so good so delicious that i don't have like a favorite dish but if i had to pick just one okay just one i would say pasteles mm, mm, pasteles damn pasteles <laughs> again here we go back in illinois <laughs> pasteles were hard to come around you know i mean well, not for us because my husband's grandma, Wilita, she would make pasteles and sell them by the dozen. But when I say hard to come around was you couldn't eat it all year round, 24-7. They would just like make it for the holidays. So they would make it for like Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. You were set. So when they made it, you wanted to make sure that you bought a lot, that your freezer was packed for the whole year, you know because that stuff is so good. When was the last time you visited? Okay, I'm from Puerto Rico, so the last time I visited, and I hate to say this, because it's embarrassing to me, because I'm proud to be Puerto Rican, but I have never been to Puerto Rico. What? I know, guys. I know. I know. I was born and raised in the Puerto Rican community where everybody spoke Spanish. If you're familiar with the Humboldt Park area, I'm gonna put some pictures up here so you guys can see. We do have like Puerto Rican flags. Every single restaurant's Puerto Rican in that area. You can go get your Puerto Rican stuff. I was always in the Puerto Rican parade because I also went to a Puerto Rican high school and the name of the school was called Dr. Pedro Abiso Campos Puerto Rican High School. Yes, yeah, a long name, but it was in the Puerto Rican community. I was raised with the culture, with the music, with the food, with the people, but 
since I was born and raised in Illinois. Then my mom never went back to Puerto Rico. My dad wanted to take me a couple times when I was younger, but I've always been afraid to fly, anxiety, and just all scared that I just never wanted to get on a plane. And the first time that I ever got on a plane was when I got married to go to you know my honeymoon because I've always taken the Greyhound bus and the train everywhere. My husband was like, no, we're taking a plane. So yeah, but now I fly, I still get scared, but I fly. But yes, I'm sorry, I've never been to Puerto Rico and that, that is on my bucket list, guys. What is your favorite Puerto Rican dessert? Puerto Rican dessert, oh. I'm gonna have to say tembleque, guys, tembleque. Tembleque is like a Puerto Rican uh, coconut pudding. It's so good. You can eat it where it's like a hard texture, but I like it when it's made like nice things like pudding, but it's like coconut with some cinnamon sprinkled over it and you eat it cold. That's so good. Arroz con dulce. Ugh. Arroz con dulce is um, sweet rice. And they make it kind of the same way, like they make the tembleque, where it's really sweet and creamy and it has raisins in it and cinnamon. And I know it sounds like, Ugh, but guys, don't knock it till you try it because that is so good. But I'm gonna have to say tembleque is my favorite Puerto Rican dessert. What town is your family from? Okay, I said this earlier, but if you didn't catch it, my family is from Humacao, Puerto Rico. Like I said, I've never been there, but that's what my mom said. Who is your all-time favorite Spanish singer? slash group okay i'm not sure if aventura is a puerto rican okay or if it's puerto rican at all but it's a spanish group and that group can sing they be throwing down i love romantic bachata it just puts me in some kind of mood you know what i'm saying <laughs> i also love prince royce but uh, aventura if i had to pick one aventura salsa or merengue hands down a merengue guys salsa to me is too slow Okay, too slow. Merengue is more on the fast beat, it's more my style. I love anything fast. Like back in the day, I used to I was in a dance group and we would dance techno when that was in. My nickname was Too Hype because I was always jumping around and really fast at techno. So I love bachata because you, you can get down to the merengue. I love it. Every time it comes out or you hear it, you, you stop what you're doing and you're like, you're pissed at your man. Man, this do be getting me mad. I was sitting here like. Ah, you just get into a happy mood you start you know jamming but anyway all right next question do you know balchata <laughs> okay i'm like giving the answers away uh, before the questions are asked and i just said it yes i know bachata man what you talking about what you What you talking about? What? Okay, moving on. Moving on. We got two more questions, guys. Two more questions, okay? It says, what is your favorite Puerto Rican slang word you use a lot? Puerto Rican slang word you use a lot. Mine is bendito. Ay, bendito. I always say pobrecito too. Ay, pobrecito. But bendito would probably be. I am always saying bendito. Bendito is like you're saying, oh, poor baby. Oh. But it's like when I feel bad, like if we're watching a movie and something happens to somebody in the movie or one of the kids get hurt or something happens, so somebody's saying something negative about something. Bendito, you never been to Puerto Rico? What do you love most about your culture? What do I love most about my culture? The people, okay? There is, of course, good and bad with all cultures. All cultures has the negative that you're like, man, that's what, see, that, that right there, that's why people be stereotyping us, okay? But. The good about our people is that we're very family oriented. I love that. Anytime you walk into a store, even if you don't know somebody, okay, you don't know this person, you just find out you're Puerto Rican, you're Spanish too, and it's like your cousins. You're like, prima, ay, como esta, hey, you know, no, no te pure, mamita. And you're already like, anda, mamita, which mamita's like sweetie, you know, and, and it's like, you feel like that's your cousin or your aunt, your long lost aunt, tia. <sighs> Get to us, Aki. But you know, it's like, you know, what I just said was, you know, Aunt, what are you doing here? But it's just, I love that about our people. It's like you feel a connection right away. And maybe it's because Puerto Rico is a small island. It's connect in that level, but I love how family oriented our culture is. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I love about it. Like I said, you walk into a store or you walk into the doctor's office or wherever you go and it's just right away. It's like, that's your cousin, that's your blood. You know, oh, you Puerto Rican, hey, prima, what's up? You know, I love that. I freaking love that about my culture. 
Okay, I think that is it with the questions. Yes, that is it. All right, I'm gonna tag four girls. Four girls I'm gonna tag, okay? And the four girls that I'm gonna tag is Kicking It With Chris, Anna Banana, Rachel e Evolve, I believe. I'm gonna put the names down here, okay? If I'm butchering, I'm sorry, but Rachel Evolve, I'm tagging you, and Gon's Girl, Denny. Uh, ladies, I am tagging you beautiful Latinas. I'm gonna put the questions down below so you guys know what questions were the questions that I answer. If you wanna change it around, go ahead and do so. I just picked some of those questions because I thought they would be cool. You know, I found this tag, I don't remember who did this. I'll look into it, I'll put her name here to give her some credit, but I did change the questions around. But anyways, I thought it would be fun to do a Latina tag. There, is another tag that I'm gonna be doing, but that's in another video. So that is the video, that is it. Make sure to click on that subscription button if you haven't already. If you're already a subscriber, what's up? Welcome back, thanks for watching. Make sure to click on that notification bell so you know when my videos are popping. And don't forget to drop a like. In the meanwhile, guys, as always, remember to be blessed. Que Dios te bendiga, mama. Peace out.